So the FFA stands for Future Farmers of America, and it is um, a program that's worldwide. And um, here at Carpenter High School, we have several different pr or little like programs within our big Ag Academy. We have tractor restoration and ag mechanic shop, um, do livestock and horticulture. And so those are our main focuses um, within the Ag Academy. Hi everybody, this is Avalon. This is Ag Time all the time. I'm in Cox Communication Studio with the FFA president and former president, Megan Garcia, and we have the production crew right here. Who do we have right here? Kirsten McLaughlin. And what is your job here at Cox? I'm the public affairs manager. And Cox. what did we do today? We filmed the girls on Community Connection, and they were fabulous. Cool. And we have our camera guy. Yeah, John. Thank you so much You're for welcome. filming the students. And what was your guys' experience about promoting agriculture to the masses at the local Santa Barbara County? It was fun. I love talking about FFA and agriculture to everybody. Yeah. And what do you think, Madam President? Um, it was good that like we're getting the word out to more than just CARP and like a little community. Like it's like all Santa Barbara County now. Yeah, so we're um Carpentry FFA Ag Communications, here you go, proficiencies. And uh, that's Ag Time and we will check in with you later because without agriculture there is no culture. Woo! This is Evelyn, this is Hello, this is Mr. Avalad. I'm going to be showing you some students today and some of their projects. Here we are at the Carpinteria Farmer's Market downtown. Hi, I'm Kayla. I'm at the Farmer's Market. Um, we're selling all the plants that we grew at the high school ourselves and making money for ourselves. Well, for the So there you have it. You have students who are growing America the right way, being entrepreneurs and not doing a handout, but actually selling food so they can use for their projects and their lifestyle. Signing out. Hi, Hi everybody, this is Evelyn. This is Ag Time, which is all the time. We're concluding our week at the Ventura County Fair with our livestock team, our championship, straight out of Carpinteria Championship Livestock Team. All of our performers perform in the top 10 showmanship competitions. We got four champions, four belt buckles, and let's find out what's going on with the rest of our chapter. Woo! So what do we got going on with our former FFA president, Megan? I won, I got seventh in the steer showmanship. Um, I was awarded FFA lamb champion. I got first in novice showmanship and second in round robin. Cody Huff, one of our livestock uh, coaches, what do, you got, what do you have to say about this team? The lambs did good, got some placement. I got seventh. Second place market showing. I got participants lamb showing. I got fifth in swine market placement. I got FFA breeding heifer champion. I got third in market. Yeah. First place swine binding. I got third in market. Fourth place in showmanship. Seventh in final drive. Third place party. I was market ready. Sixth in market. Me in showmanship and market. Market ready. Lamb second place class. Third, third place overall. Third place market. Well, everybody, just want to introduce you to the next member of the Carpenter and Warrior team. This is Pam Plittish. Pam, what do you think about these guys? So we are a tribe, we are warriors, and this is the second part of our agriculture program. I'm going to be gone for a while, but she's going to be continuing our journey, and Ag Time will be around all the time. And that's Avalon. We will check with you later. Without agriculture, there is no culture. Woo! <laughs> Emily Garcia, you just won the championship heifer. What are you going to do next? I'm going to show breeder and show her baby. Yeah! Congratulations on your championship heifer! Woo!
Here's the rest of the herd. I have this pig right here. Right here. 197. 197. So we're going to be feeding the extra protein and eggs, yeah. right? Dabble, this is Ag Time. I'm here at the Ventura County Fair. We're watching the pig show, right? Yeah, check this out straight out of Carpinteria. That's Alfonso out there. Remember Alfonso from our other videos? There he is. We got Michelle out there. I will be showing him at the fair. The first day I'll be weighing lambs and then we will do showmanship. So like we're about to brace your lamb. I'll show you kind of what that's like. So what you do is you like hold your lamb with like your fingers right here and the other one by his mouth like this and you have to like brace him try to keep his legs straight try to make him like kind of be strong right now he's not really cooperating because he wants to walk around but yeah that's pretty much it thank you for hi everybody this is abla and this is ag tire which is all the time right now we got the lamb champion showmanship with kayla mesa from carpentry ffa let's check it out and see if she's going to be our grand champion she's the ffa champion let's see what we got growing on but uh, I uh, certainly appreciate the opportunity. Very impressed. Uh, what? Face that lens. Well, congratulations, 4 H. Looks like you guys won the Grand Champion Land. The Carpenter has got the other thing. Woo! Good job, Kayla! Good job, Kayla! Woo! She took third overall. This is my steer fireball, and this is my SAE project. Fireball is a Hereford cross. Um, I think he has like some limousine in him. Anyways, Fireball is 1,100 pounds and I got him when he was roughly 500 pounds. Right now, I'm feeding Fireball his grain and he also has plenty of hay. Fireball also has fresh water. And I will be selling Fireball this summer at the Ventura Fair in August. And to maintain his health, I give him a dewormer every month to two months. I make sure that he has some probiotics, which just helps regulate his stomach. I also walk Fireball to give him muscle mass in areas that he needs uh, muscle definition. And I bathe him as often as I can. And I just try to give him the best 10 months with me. I try to give him the best 10 months of his life. Well, 10 months that he has with me. Anyways, through raising live, these um, steers, this is my third steer, I plan on going into the cattle business and raising grass-fed beef. So raising fireball is just gonna help me in my career and my profession. So I very much so enjoy it. And being able to have it as a class and be out here every single day makes me that much more passionate and love cattle. So <coughs> this is my essay project. This is fireball. Come here, fireball. And we will check in with you later.